In boxing, there is never any doubt about what the job entails. The intentions are as clear as they are consequential. The risks are always as current as they are concluded. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. That's why if Canelo Alvarez is to win this November, it's to be one of his most notable. On November 2nd, Canelo Alvarez looks to not only write history, but to make sure his name is the one they mention when they talk about the pound-for-pound -pound best. He will aim to become a four-weight world champion, joining a small few elite class of legendary fighters. Canelo's next opponent is a giant in comparison, a man coined the Crusher as he goes by the name of Sergei Kovalev. Forged in the depths of Russia, established in the grand stage of the USA, and now taking on Mexico's absolute best. His job, it's quite simple, show the world why weight divisions exist in boxing. With a gargantuan 15-pound weight advantage, he has the very best case to become victorious against the kind of foe many would dream for. In a classic clash of skill and will, we the fans are treated to some of the best boxing can offer. Their training camps are in progress to prepare their bodies for the brutalizing task that lays ahead. Power and speed. This fight has in great abundance. The elite level of boxing this fight is sure to deliver. Canelo stars in a dare-to-be-great move against a rival who presents the most vicious task seen in recent boxing history. You asked for the best fights in boxing, now you've got it. Run. Representing not only their character, but their nations as well as their singular need to make something clear. Which man will personify trepidation? Which one will rise? Who's the one to cur up and who's the one to show up? We'll find out in just a few short weeks. But before that, here on The Fight Game, we preview the fight in an in-depth look at the Blockbuster Showdown. On November 2nd, we have possibly the biggest fight of the year, as Canelo Alvarez is moving up 15 pounds to take on the light heavyweight champion, Sergei Kovalev. Many fans were focusing on a trilogy fight with Golovkin, but not many foreseen that Canelo, in my opinion, would quite literally take on the biggest test of his career. Standing over six foot, Sergei Kovalev is not only taller than Canelo, but he's larger in both bone density and muscle mass. This is no rocky fielding. This is one of the major champions in the 175 pound weight class, and he's equipped with the tools necessary to switch the lights off for Canelo Alvarez. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Sergei Kovalev, he was born in Kapisk, Russia on the 2nd of April 1983, making him 36 years old when he enters the ring against Canelo Alvarez. Kovalev has something that Canelo does not, and that's a very decorated amateur career with 195 wins and only 18 losses. Kovalev is a skillful power puncher. He's knocked opponents down with both right hands and singular jabs. Skill isn't enough to avoid Kovalev's power. As we saw in Kovalev Ward 1, Kovalev knocked down one of the sport's most skillful boxers, Andre Ward. Let's watch that again, but without the music this time. The sound really pays respect to how thudding Kovalev's straight right is. And that was against a prime 175 pounder. It's almost difficult to fathom what the very same punch will do to a significantly smaller man. Not too long ago, Kovalev was considered one of the pound for pound best, knocking out nearly every opponent he faced. The Crusher Kovalev's greatest asset is his jab. In this fight, we can expect him to keep Canelo at bay with his lengthy advantage. Canelo will have to utilize his head movement to get inside Kovalev's lead hand, something Canelo is very good at. In the fight, we will almost have a simultaneous battle of Canelo's head movement versus Kovalev's jab. Canelo will have to walk a tight rope to get inside range, and when he's inside, he has to take advantage. A jab from Kovalev will feel just as hard as a right hand from his fellow opponents down in the 160-pound division. Canelo can't use his trademark head roll to deflect damage from straight shots, meaning if he's to be caught with a straight left, he's going to get a thudding introduction to the 175-pound weight class. We know Kovalev can hurt Canelo, but now the question is, can Canelo hurt Kovalev? 
Weight is so important in boxing, and it's why we see such a small amount of multi-divisional champions. And as Canelo struggles to hurt his opponents at 160 pounds, it's fair to say Canelo is going to find it very difficult to hurt someone at 175 pounds, let alone Sergei Kovalev. The only way Canelo can deal real, old-fashioned trauma to Sergei Kovalev is to the body. A lot of people seem to think Canelo is going to win via body shots in this fight. And while yes, that is his most likely route to victory, it's vital to remember that body shots are the riskiest punches to throw in boxing. The entire side of Canelo's face will be left open when he aims to throw these shots, and if he's not careful, he could be overpowered by Kovalev's sheer size and weight. In recent fights, Kovalev did seem to wince at body shots. However, he has yet to touch the canvas from one. It's interesting that so many people seem to say he'll succumb to Canelo's body shots, yet he's never been down to one. The only time fans may refer to is his second fight with Andre Ward. However, many believe that the shots were below the belt. What do you guys think? Were these body shots or were they below the belt? The cameras struggle to tell the full story. If you're struggling to come to a conclusive decision, this final camera angle should make things clearer. Canelo has a big task ahead of him, but it's not like he's never taken on big tasks before. Everyone for years insisted Canelo was avoiding Triple G, but then they both finally met. Canelo put up a fight not many expected him to. Sure, Golovkin deserved to take home the win that night, but don't let the bogus decision distract you from the sublime skills Canelo showcased in that fight. Pivoting to the left to avoid Triple G's looping right hand was a perfect counter he came up with just for that fight. That, along with head movements and his counters to the body, he showed that he's not only improved immensely in recent years, but that he can acutely prepare his skill set for a specific opponent. In the second fight, Canelo improved even further and gave Golovkin the toughest fight of his life. While the scorecards really cloud the greatness of both fights of the Canelo-Golovkin rivalry, it is important to notice what an excellent boxer Canelo actually is, and something that many find hard to admit is how underrated he is. Canelo's head movement will be key in this fight, even more so than body punching. Against a taller opponent, Canelo can make Kovalev overextend on his punches and fall into counters. Canelo showed brilliant head movement in his last fight against Jacobs. Who knows, Canelo could go into this fight and Kovalev could struggle to hit him all night long. He is very defensively skilled, an often overlooked aspect he brings to the ring, losing to Mayweather oddly may have been one of the best things to happen to Canelo. Overall, this fight is too intriguing to miss. Will Kovalev simply be too large of a man for Canelo to handle, or will Canelo find a way to dethrone a giant? If Canelo kills the body, the head will fall, and that's exactly what he'll be intending to do. It's time for you guys to make your predictions in the comments section below. Who do you think wins and how will it happen? Will it be Kovalev with his jab and monster right hand, or will it be Canelo with his superior skills and body punching? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like as it helps us grow the channel. We'll see you in the next video here on the Fight Game.